Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Pirates of the Caribbean games I found for Java. Pirates of the Caribbean 2, that man's chest, is an okay game for Java standards. In this game you do two things, have sea battles and fight as Jack Sparrow in the same town. Okay, theoretically it's not the same town, but no matter where you are, there are the same buildings. But how is the gameplay then? Well, sea battles feel good. But the Jack Sparrow levels have clunky controls, but they still work out. I mean, even if the controls feel a little stiff, you still have fun in these world battles. Overall, if you're a Pirates fan, I recommend the game. It's short, even for a Java game, taking you around half an hour to beat, but it's still enjoyable to play. Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End is a platformer, and it's a pretty basic one. But it still gets the job done, the controls feel good and especially the ground pound move feels very good, the sword fighting feels also good and the platforming in general is good. To spice things up you also get cannon levels, but since the whole game is an alternation between platforming and cannon levels, the formula gets repetitive. But at least during those two and a half hours of gameplay, you'll be switching between Will and Jack and fight different enemies. The game is really enjoyable and that mostly because the platforming and fighting mechanics feel good. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides looks like a great game for Java on first sight. Well, it is a good game indeed, but it has shortcomings too. All you do is what you see in the video. You just fight with some mechanics that feel clunky, and you don't even get a multitude of moves you can perform. This swing attack is all you do, and since the only attack you get in the game doesn't feel that good, you can imagine how the 20 minute long experience will be. And 20 minutes for a Java game that's short. Also, in the whole game you get one boss battle, in which you sword fight with the same clunky mechanics. So yeah, the game is okay, but it has shortcomings. Pirates of the Caribbean Poker is a pretty good poker game, and not just for Java standards, but a good poker game for normal game standards too. In this game you get 7 poker types to play. Texas Hold'em, Omaha, Omaha High Low, Blind Man's Bluff, Caribbean Stud, Blackjack and Liar's Dice and you even have 3 ways to cheat during those poker matches. The game has a plot too, which is there only to give some purpose to the 14 levels in the game, but hey, you get a plot in a game about poker, that's a plus. The plot is that you play poker to uncover a treasure chest. By playing poker matches you unlock the 6 map parts needed to get to the chest and even the chest is guarded by poker playing thugs. And what is even greater about the game is that it has bluetooth multiplayer too. If you're into poker, this game is a dream come true. The controls might feel clunky at first, but once you get used to them, the game is really great. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.